Hey, what's going on, guys? Dope Slider930 here, and I'm just making this video about a uh, new product, or fairly new. It's been out for a little while now, um, and I did an unboxing video a while back on it, and I promised you guys a install tutorial and a review, and I had a few complications. I actually ended up breaking my slim disk drive, so I was waiting, uh, waiting on a replacement. Uh, but sure enough, I got it in this morning, and I have successfully installed my Matrix PCB, and um, just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my uh, experience with it. And uh, first off, I wanted to say a big thank you to the actual Matrix team. Um, throughout my whole uh, breaking of the slim disk drive, uh, I promised them a review on their product, and they've been extremely patient with me and uh, very helpful in getting me a replacement drive. So, a uh, big thank you to them. Uh, the the product does work very very well. It uh, is fairly easy to install. Uh, the only requirements are that you actually get a dump of your uh, dummy dot bin. Uh, so you have to get a dump of that. And in order to do so, you're going to need a uh, you're going to need a USB Pro as well as a uh, way a way to power the drive. I'm using a CK3i. Let me show you. <clears throat> if you don't know what those are. Here is the USB Pro, here is the CK3i. And um, so yeah, it's very easy to install. Um, you have to, uh, before you install this PCB, you're gonna actually have to get your, like I said, dummy bin off of your, the PCB, um, here's my old one, the one that came in it to get all your information. And then it's as simple as um, creating the LT uh, firmware with Jungle Flasher and then saving it and then you can, um, then you install this PCB and you can flash it over and I honestly think this is a really great product uh, especially for those of you that don't want to mess with the kamikaze method or any other method where you can actually brick or permanently destroy your disk drive uh, completely uh, user friendly just pop pop it in and you know just flash it like you would any other disk drive um, the team executor has a product similar to this one but there's a uh, two things that stand out to me that make this better than team executors product in my opinion and uh, usually I'm a, I'm a pretty big team executor fan so you won't hear me say this too often uh, but for one is going to be the cost the cost is cheaper than the, um, uh, the team executors unlocked PCB I've seen it the, the matrix freedom go for anywhere from ten twenty dollars less than the actual team executor uh, product and and uh, I mean, all in all, they're not made of different, too, you know, too much different components. So uh, for ten to twenty dollars less, I, I'd say this is a big, uh, bigger one. And also, one feature I did not see on Team Executor's product that this one has is I don't have it hooked up right now, but actually right here there is a ribbon that plugs in, and this goes on the outside of your slim, and it's actually an external flasher. Which is awesome because once you hook this all up, you never have to open up your Slim again to uh, make backups or to upgrade to a new LT. So to me, that's actually a huge, huge feature that they added. You know, with just a little, little, uh, little component board. So that's a really cool thing. Um, I can show you guys. Let me plug it in right now and show you, show you guys it up and running. Um, what I decided to do on the tutorial was instead of actually making a tutorial myself, I'm just going to use um, the actual Matrix Team's PDF file. And I'm going to go through it step by step with you guys. Hold on. I'm going to go through it step by step with you guys and kind of um, just go a little more detailed than they did and add a little pointers here and there. So I think it's easier than reading a PDF having me at least tell you. But the PDF is pretty dang good, don't get me wrong. It was very easy for me to follow, but like I said, there's always a few things here and there I can try to help you guys out with. So, Alright, I'm going to plug this in. Turn on the TV. I'm actually going to switch over to my other camera right now because this camera is about to die. Sorry about that. Alright, so now we have the Xbox on. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop in a Call of Duty World of War backup copy. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So you go in. Go over here. As I'm sure you can see, it says uh, play game Call of Duty World of War. So let me go ahead and 
try on a different game. Just to show you guys. One more time. Let's see if I can find any more of my backups. Oh, crisis 2. <laughs> These are the two I always seem to find. Crisis 2 is in. Close tray. And there you go. Play Crisis 2. So I, I can start it even too if you want to see. But yeah, this thing works really good, really well, and like I said, the whole uh, external reprogramming of it I think is an awesome feature because um, this Xbox right here, I put a lot of different mods and time into, and once I'm all done with it, I don't want to really have to crack it open again because I don't want to risk uh, damaging something on the inside by constantly opening it again. So let me go ahead and turn this off, and then I'll show you... <coughs> So right there, that black ribbon, let me show you guys my finger, this is the external programmer and it's going to be a sticky that sticks to the back of the Xbox right here. So um, I'll show you guys, like I said, I'm going to go through um, the actual PDF file that they made on the install guide and walk you guys step by step and uh, you know, just like I said, tell you guys little heads up and things like that that I, so yeah, it uh that's about it then guys, uh, Dope Turner 930 and this was a uh, review and showing you guys how the actual Matrix Freedom PCB works. Like I said, it is a great product and I highly recommend it to anybody who has a slim Xbox 360 and doesn't want to go through the trouble of uh, trying the kamikaze method or any other type of method that could uh, ultimately I guess destroy your uh, Xbox 360's disk drive which as I'm sure we all know is not a cheap component to actually replace. So. Alright, well, those are 930 guys, and uh, let me know what you guys think. I am out.